After a sudden retrenchment, Simon made a positive change and got qualified with the Australian Institute of Fitness. You could be eligible for state and federal funding. Hit fitness.edu.au or call 1300 669 669. Pretty big name inclusions, I guess that's uh, something for Bombers fans to be excited about. Yeah, probably uh, you know going in as about as strong as we can uh, for this week at the moment. So uh, yeah, good to see Job out there finally playing and uh, Chappie's form pre-season has been great. So good to see him do it on the field. What are you expecting tomorrow night then? You're expecting obviously to give it a real go? Yeah, we'll, we'll play the best and, and uh, keep looking to play the way we train. Um, so hopefully we can do that uh, tomorrow. Was there any sense of disappointment out of last week's game against the Gold Coast? I think there's always positives and, and room for improvements you take out of every game. Uh, I thought there was a lot of positives. You know, we had a, a youngish side uh, from a forward line perspective. You know, I was really happy with our pressure um, and our competition in the forward line. Um, you know, probably didn't weren't great in the last few minutes, but um, you know that's good learning and it's a good time to make those mistakes. What are you expecting Chappie to bring to the side? Uh, certainly some finish and, and some polish, and we probably lacked that a little bit last week. And you know, great to have Winderlich back as well. I, you know, probably didn't realise what a good player he was uh, until coming here, and uh, you know, he's been unbelievable pre-season. So you know, between him and um, Chappie, we get some excellent finish in our forward line, and, and some good leadership uh, for our younger forwards as well. Have you been pretty excited by what you've seen from him over the summer on the track? Chappie, Chappie? Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I probably didn't get to see him really till after Christmas. Uh, I think he started early December. I was in Colorado um, for most of December, but you know, good finisher, um, wants to help his teammates, and uh, a terrific user of the ball. So, you know, great to add the quality of someone like that to your side. And just holding Goddard and Joe back out of the first game, give them a run now. Are, they, are you confident they're well on track to be up and flying by round one? Yeah, well, the senior guys. You know, we're probably looking to get to at least two games out of uh, the senior guys. So. Um, BJ's had a couple of little injuries during pre-season, but um, you know he's a hard worker and he's been going pretty well. And um, good to get, good to see Job actually play because um, yeah, training. He's. I'm looking forward to seeing the way he plays anyway. So you've got that extra game at Punt Road in a couple of weeks' time. So the plan is that you'll have a full strength side for that one as well. Is that? Uh, oh, I think we'll um, manage our group appropriately. But you know, you probably want most of the guys to play that game if they're going to play round one. We've got a couple of weeks. Um, after that until we play, so um, good to get game time uh, into players now so they're ready to go. You've been uh, out here at Tullamarine for the last three or four months, is there a, a step in, uh, is there a sort of lift in the step of the players having been out here in the facilities and like is there a sense that you know this, this whole thing is some, sort of coming together? I mean they, they are terrific facilities, I mean it, it's still, it's not quite finished but I mean it's, uh, it's a fantastic venue to train to have two ovals uh, great indoor training, um, you know, I think it's, uh, it's been a, a great boost for the playing group um, coming from Windy Hill, but um, yeah, I, I feel like we're, we're moving in a, in a pretty good direction. There's been, you know, a few changes to, to what we're doing, so, you know, hopefully we can start to put that on show uh, tomorrow night. There are a lot of competing interests at play, I suppose, during the pre-season. How hard is it when you need to get what you need to get out of a pre-season game, but then the other team might be playing with a half-strength side or whatever? Oh, I think it's great practice competing against something different. You know, when you're playing uh, internals or game style simulation um, at training, you know, you're, you're competing against the same, so it's good to see something a little bit different. Um, so, you know, whether it doesn't really matter how uh, strong the opposition is, you're still trying to do the best you can um, each time you have the ball and every time you don't have the ball, and then at, at stoppages as well. So, uh, you know, looking forward to seeing that develop more over the next couple of weeks. We've got a pretty tough start to the season, so we've got to get it right. What do you expect to see out of Port? Port's a probably a team I know half well, being from South Australia, seen a fair bit of them uh, the last couple of years. So, um, you know, they're probably more a long kicking side. Um, they've um, got some high end talent amongst their top half a dozen players. So, very good stoppage team, good at winning contested footy. Um, so, but it, you know, and probably, you know, I mean, Hinkley's uh, another Geelong coach, so not completely dissimilar to what we're doing. Just uh, with your South Australian hat on, are you surprised that Port have thrown their hat in for Bryce Gibbs so that they'll <laughs> challenge Adelaide for uh, uh, a free agent? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think I'm the only player um, or person to have played against Bryce Gibbs and, and his dad, Ross. Um, so, um, I'm starting to show my age now. Um, 
Oh, I, I don't really care what, what happens with you know Bryce Gibbs. He's been a, a good player for Carlton, and um, I know when I was at the Crows, we were pretty keen to have him as a father son, and we missed out. So um, you know, whatever happens there happens. And Dustin Fletcher's going to roll in for pre-season, what 25 or something like that tomorrow night. Yeah, Fletcher, Fletcher's still going. Yeah, he uh, um, he's a great worker, um, very passionate about footy. No, he's he's a lovely guy, and uh, and you know a good teammate. Uh, he missed a few games, I suppose, last year because of injury and whatnot. What can Bombers fans realistically expect from him this year? Will it be a, a managed sort of program, or is he just as durable as ever now and had a great pre-season and can play 22 games again? Yeah, well, he hasn't missed any games or hasn't missed any training with injury. So, uh, you know, if, if he's in our best 22, I'd imagine he'd play each week. Nathan, you mentioned uh, Jason Winderlich before. What, mm -hmm. what surprised you about? When you when you got to the club, how how good he was? Oh, he's probably kicked about 150 goals this pre-season. I mean, he, his uh, ability to use his body uh, one on one, uh, his great instruction uh, to his teammates. Um, he just does everything right as a forward, and, and he plays a fair bit taller um, than his actual height. He's got great speed, um, so you know he's probably been held back as much by injury over his career more than anything for, from people actually getting to see how good he is. So it would be great for him to get to play. You know, sort of 18 plus games in the season so people could appreciate what a good player he is. It's a privilege, not a right. It crosses our hearts and unites us all. And now, more than ever, it's time to don the sash.